Who created God? This isn't the question. Because there is a primordial root to what we call God. Because what we call God is all in all a force that's working on us and that is personally related to us. There is something that's disconnected from us and that's called in Hebrew atzmuto, his essence, meaning he in and of himself, regardless of us. And this is why it's called his essence. And if we're talking about God, then his essence has formed God, meaning has formed a system that's taking care of us. God is a system of forces. So God is a system of forces, and the one who created it is... We can't talk about him, we don't know about him, it's something that we can't touch. We're built in such a way that we can't reach him. And when you say system of forces, what do you mean by that? Forces. It means that we and everything else on earth is a system of forces. And God and everything above him is this system of forces? It doesn't matter that we call it God. It's a system of forces. It's like doing research in physics or in chemistry or in anything else. Are we also forces in the system? Of course we're a part of the system. The thing is that we have to discover this system and become corrected forces in it. What does it mean that we're corrected forces in the system? Love another as thyself. This is the comprehensive rule of the system. You mean that we act harmoniously with each other and with the system? Yes, but that we ourselves, consciously, willingly, that we activate ourselves and all of our forces to be in a single system. Okay, so perhaps now you can give us a small tip. Uh, I understood throughout our talk that we're living in a system of forces, that there is one governing law of love that is ruling this system, and that I am also a force in the system. So. What can we do from now on? How can we change our perspective on life in, in a small way from now onwards? Whoever wants to find out about the world that we're living in, what is there after death and also before that? How to know what is my destiny, how to direct myself in life, has to study the wisdom of Kabbalah. We're open for everyone. And what will he study there? He'll study the system. The system. The system in which we all are, the system of reality, and how does it work, and how should man manage it, and himself, in order to have a good life. Thanks so much. It sounds fascinating.